doesn't look that pleasant to me. I remember there was a creek you had to ford on this trail, but... Nice campsite. Digging the tripod. There's supposed to be a shelter nearby. It's called Doe Run Shelter. That was Doe Run Creek over there. I found it. It's down here. found it. Man, it is a nice shelter. Looks newer too, so I don't remember it when I did this trail back in 2010. So it must have been constructed recently. Unless I missed it. Digging it. Trail's well blazed in this section. There's a blaze on a tree every 50 feet or so. Um, it's also the first incline I've been really encountered on the trail in about four miles almost. So it's pretty easy so far. When I did it the first time, it was anything but, but I also didn't have the right gear. I had 50 pounds of Walmart gear. I do remember that big rock. There was a guy camping on that. This is going back 14 years, I still remember that. He said he saw black bears come through and he was, I guess he was uh, afraid of encountering a black bear, so he thought he'd be safe up there. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now it's going up steep. First good vista. I don't remember seeing windmills in the distance while I was here the last time, but that's pretty neat. See these mountains, the tops of these mountains are kind of flat. Kind of look like tabletops. My guess is that erosion back during the Ice Age probably caused the mountains of Pennsylvania to be smaller and more whittled down. I mean, just a, just a guess on my part. I'm thinking like icebergs or something caused the uh, recession of the mountaintops here when they were uh, melting during global warming. You see this uh, cliff point here? I had seen rattlesnakes on this. It was either this rock or one of those other ones on previous trips because I'd done day hikes here too. All right, I gotta correct myself. The last vista wasn't the spot where I saw the rattlesnakes, it was here. I remembered when I saw it, that it had more loose pebble, more loose pebbles and 
big rocks just scattered all over, so that's where I saw them. But there won't be any out now because even though it's a mild, still winter day, almost spring, it's still too cool for them. I see somebody's camped here before too. I can't say I blame them. It's a good spot. make for another excellent campsite. Always nice to be near the water. And wait a minute, I think I'm going that way too, where the blaze is. Just having some lunch. Organic pineapple with coconut. These things are great because they're light. They're packed with all kinds of goodies. Just come out to a little road crossing here, right off the trail there. And I'm following it down here. See it's well signed and well blazed. Oh, these campsites keep getting better and better. Somebody made stone chairs here by the fire pit. I like that. I want to show you something else here. So I don't remember this. Or I don't remember it being this treacherous looking, but I got to cross that creek. It's called the Pleasant Stream. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cross on one of these fallen trees. There's one down there too. I think that's my best bet right there because I'm not gonna get knee deeper maybe a little might be a little uh, deeper than that even and cross that swift current because it's probably frigid after all I'm up north in Pennsylvania so and they just had winter and they had snow recently I believe so I'm gonna keep my feet dry and not go that route but I will attempt that tree right there and cross over using that.
All right, I made it safe and sound on the other side. I had to walk across on my knees because I get a little vertigo going up high like that, crossing over a raging creek. And I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my footing and fall in. And that would be where, that would be something I would not want. So anyway, safe and sound on the other side. Time to look for camp because the sun will be setting soon. It is after 5.30, so I don't think I have but a half an hour. It's funny because you go north before daylight savings time. Well, this applies to any time of the year and the days aren't as long as they are in the south. Or I should say that the sunset is earlier, but the sunrise is also earlier here. It is 6.16 and the sun has set. Clouds have moved in and there is definitely a feeling of moisture coming in with them. The winds are moving faster. So I think that rain that was forecast is gonna come through tonight. So I am going to stay at a shelter up ahead. I think it is called Sproul, Sproul Point or something like that. I'll post it in the video. But I'm going to stay there, and it's supposed to be near a vista, so I started getting a signal again on my phone right here. So I should have a signal there too, because it's not too much further. It's like once you're in the lower points of the trail, there is no service on the cell phone. So I kind of wanted service, so I might want to call somebody. So I will head to the shelter. Right, this is... Uh, Sharp Top Vista. This is the best vista I've seen so far. Unfortunately, it is kind of dark, so it's kind of hard to make out. And the winds are really whipping up, so I know I want to make it to that shelter. Finally made it in 16 miles, so the shelter is up ahead. All right, so I gotta compliment them. They really are good at hiding the shelter because it was not where it shows on the map. Anyway, and I don't even see a trail leading to it. It's like it's just in the middle of the woods. This is where I'm spending the night, in case it rains. All right, I got my bear hang. All right, I got my bear bag hung. Somebody else had uh, the same idea, but I guess I didn't get their string down. So now I can get ready for bed. I didn't really eat much. I wasn't super hungry just wanted a snack because I had a snack at one of my breaks so I didn't feel like cooking anything I don't talk to you guys anymore tonight I'll talk to you in the morning I have 11 miles to finish about to have some breakfast I had my tent set up in the shelter just because I've seen mice here and I don't like to deal with them <coughs> I don't like them crawling on me. Not that they ever do, but you never know what happens when you're sleeping. So I'm gonna have some oatmeal. I didn't have dinner last night. Uh, kind of just wanted to go to sleep, so I just snacked. And I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, it's kind of late. It's gonna be pushing eight o'clock here soon. Uh, I didn't sleep great last night, but I slept, so just couldn't get comfortable. So if you read the All Trails commentary for this trail, I see a lot of people have said it's muddy. And I do think I remember that from my first time out here. It's muddy for quite a distance when you get to the sections where it's muddy, but it's muddy in a lot of sections. So what I do is I just walk on the side here, try and avoid it as best I can, but 
and you're either sinking or slipping. And this is quite a long stretch where it's muddy. It's like you're walking in a muddy stream. I happen to see this from up above on the trail and came down to check it out. It's not too bad. Trails up there. Near the town of Maston. I guess it's an old miner's town or logging town, I can't remember. And these houses are only occupied seasonally. I believe they're hunting lodges or like cabins you could rent. I believe this is where I camped 14 years ago. Looks different, but a lot of things could have caused that. I think they've had floods come through here in the past 14 years. I remember this waterfall over here. I'm gonna take a look. The old logger's path is officially completed a second time and this time I got to document it so that way I got to see if there was anything I missed from the previous time which I think I did. I probably cut it short in places because uh, some parts didn't look familiar but again that was 14 years ago so my memory could be off. Uh, however I want to say that this trail was a good trail for beginners. It had some difficult parts. Um, the highlights of the trail are several vistas Sprout Point being one of them where I spent the night. And uh, also there were about three waterfalls all on day two. I went counterclockwise and uh, I don't know what the total mileage is yet, but I know it's over 27 and I'll put that in the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, another thing is this trail had special meaning to me as it was my first backpacking trip. So that's why I wanted to do this one while I'm visiting my family up here in Pennsylvania. So again, thanks for watching. See you soon.